Hello Red Eye, how are you guys doing again? I told you I was going to continue to do some of these uh, interesting videos about the older equipment, vintage equipment that you just don't see any much, see much anymore. Um, and this is another one. This is the Bonanza Bullseye Pistol Powder Measure. Um, <clears throat> I think the last time they had this in the catalog was, I think Forrester took over Bonanza in 98. And I think the last run of these was 1999. But they have been making them all the way through the 70s. Um, this one, I'm lucky to say, is complete. Um, and I'm going to show it to you so you understand what it is. You might see it around. You'll find them on eBay occasionally. Um, basically, what you have here is a rotary uh, powder measure. So you have your hopper here on the top. There's a set screw here that allows you to, it's actually a two-part, let me take this out without breaking it. This is actually a two-part thing here. This is your hopper. Now, this screw not only holds the hopper on with the set screw on the inside, but it also holds on the um, stand. So you could put that on and it holds it flush like this, okay? Now you end up with these little rotors inside. There's a set screw underneath, and it's beveled here so you can hold your case up there, and you can make sure everything makes it into the mouth. So, you pick your rotor. They are marked on the end. This one's a 2.7. Now, 2.7 is actually the CCs of the, the hole for the rotor. Um, and the rotors are nice. They have little knurled edges so that you can grip it. This notch here goes into uh, where the set screw comes in and stops the rotation. So when you have it um, vertical, it fills the cavity, you turn it, and it'll allow you to dump but not rotate all the way around. That's why this hole is only halfway through. So um, these things are awesome to have on your uh, bench for various reasons. I like them because they're quicker. Um, the modern... The recent, more modern version of this is what we know as the RCBS has it as the little dandy. Um, it does take the same idea, except it's tall and skinny and it's made to th screw into one of the die holes, uh, one of the holes in your press. And it also has a tall skinny hopper instead of this round one. Um, and we have threads coming out the bottom so you can put it right into a, um, like a turret press. I have one on my uh, Ponzus Warren P200 which is a 10-hole um, benchtop uh, turret press. So this one, as, you, as I said, has 2.7 cc's there. And then I have with this all the other, not all probably, but a lot of the other rotors that go with it. So 3, 3.5, 4.5. Uh, here's 4, 2.5. 8.4. Now, um, well, hold on, let me finish these. 5.3 and 5.5. So, they vary uh, by a good amount. And the 8.4 threw me off because that seems like a lot. Um, and what I found out was, uh, what I did was, I figured since they're in CCs, I took my trusty Lee Dipper um, card that allows you to choose different powders. A lot of you guys will see these. These are popular. Um, and I use this CC chart here to get me an idea of where I was, instead of just trial and error with various rotors, I can get an idea of which powder is which here, and um, it will get me in the ballpark. So that's a good idea if you ever find one of these. And the same thing goes with the little dandy. Um, there is data for with the little dandy that'll help you, but not with these. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rotors. Um, these rotors, they're not made anymore. They're no longer supported by Forrester. Bonanza is defunct. They're gone. They got absorbed into Forrester and you can't find these parts anymore, but I have all of them. So after some debate on whether or not to keep this for my bench, I decided that I was going to go ahead and put it up, um, and let you guys have an opportunity uh, if anyone wanted it, to purchase it. If you're interested in this item, you're welcome to shoot me a message. 
Uh, I don't know how long this will last or if anyone will want it at all. I, I'm sure that there is someone that's going to want um, this really awesome, uh, not only a piece of reloading history, but an effective tool. It works great. See, there you go. It's set and it won't come out. Put the hopper on. Screw that down. You can mount it on the edge of your bench and wherever you need it. So this is what it's all about, guys. I love this vintage reloading equipment. They work then, they work now, and it's what it's all about, all right? Thank you again for being part of Red Eye. Please subscribe to the channel so you can get more information. I'm going to do more of these as I get these neat equipment in. I could show you how they work, tell you what I know. Maybe you can enlighten me if you are familiar with this, owned one, seen one. Um, let me know. Thank you, guys.